Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of this wooden drift bolt build. Thanks so much for following along. In this episode, we're gonna be fairing the chine logs that we installed in the last episode. We're also gonna build the side pieces by scarfing two four by 10 foot sheets of Akumi plywood together to make that big long side piece. It's gonna be pretty challenging and really interesting. So let's get started and jump right into it. All right, now I need to fare the chine logs to the rest of the frame, and I'm gonna use a power planer first to remove the bulk of the waste, and then I'm gonna finish getting everything perfect using a hand plane. And I just use my eye taking down any high spots until I get a really nice fair curve all the way along the edge of the boat. Next I'm going to make a rough template for the side pieces using some cardboard. First I'll glue a few of the pieces together and then clamp those to the frame so that I can cut out the shape. And I'm going to give myself a lot of extra room on all sides so that when I cut out the piece on the plywood I'll have lots of wiggle room when I go and mount that plywood side to the frame later on. It would be devastating if I was too small or too short on those plywood sides after I do all the work to create those. So I'm going to make sure I have lots of wiggle room and I can always cut those off later on. All right, so now I'm going to make this side panel that's gonna mount to the frame and I'm gonna use this 3 8 Okumi plywood and I'm gonna make a scarf joint to join these two 10 foot long pieces together and then I'll cut out using the template I made out of cardboard, a piece that I can clamp into place and then secure it. So I did it on the other side already and I did that because I wanted to test out my methods before I film them and what I'm gonna do is just take a hand plane and hand plane these scarf joints. So I'm gonna go a five inch scarf joint across here. Now they make, or you can actually make yourself a router jig to accomplish this or a 
circular saw jig, but I figured by the time I made that jig, I can just do this manually. And it really wasn't that much work um, on the other one, so I'm gonna do it again. It's, it's really no problem at all. So I have my number six, which has a long enough distance between the blade and the shoe so that when, or the toe of the plane, so that the toe of this plane will actually set up my plane in the proper angle because they're offset that five inches, it doesn't start cutting until I reach that far edge since it's a number six and has a long enough toe there. And now it'll cut and then it'll cut again here. So it will actually create the proper angle. I really don't have to worry much about maintaining that angle by just planing this direction for several passes until I establish that bevel. And then I can turn my plane this way and go across it. And I'll just kind of keep track of how far I've gone across towards the line on each one of them, and it really wasn't that big of an issue at all. Then I will flip them over, glue them, create that big giant 20 foot long panel. Then I'll put this cardboard template on it, trace it, cut it out with the jigsaw, and clamp it into place. The lines that are formed between the different pieces of ply as you're planing do a really good job of telling you if you're staying nice and straight and even across the scarfs. So just pay attention to those and you'll end up with a nice scarf joint. I'm using Total Bolt's high performance epoxy to glue this scarf joint together. And I'm actually using Total Bolt products for this entire build and I've switched over to using this high performance epoxy for pretty much all my other woodworking glue ups now as well. It's extremely strong, has gap filling properties unlike wood glue, and you can use a fast, medium, or slow hardener to tailor the open time unlike wood glue, and you don't have to rush and stress over the glue ups anymore. I have a link to Total Boat down in the description, and they hooked me up with a coupon code for you guys. If you use the coupon code Third Coast at checkout, you'll get 20% off. Once my scarf joint is dried, I'll trace out my side piece using my template and I'm gonna extend my line even further because I really wanna make sure that I don't end up short anywhere on these side pieces. Then using a half inch router bit, I'm gonna cut a channel to put in a half inch piece of inlay to cover that scarf seam on what's gonna be the inside face of this piece of plywood.
Well, everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of this wooden drift boat build. If you haven't already or you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. You can hit the bell icon and it'll make sure you get notifications when I do my next video on this boat build or any other projects that I do. So we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks so much for watching.